This is a quick demo of a new plugin called Perspective Grid. Well, it's not strictly a new plugin because there was actually a version for CS5, CS4, but now with CS6, there's a complete change. It's actually become a toolbox plugin. So it is a slightly, a, basically a new plugin. So I'm just going to show you on the Mac, but it's also for the PC, 64 bit as well as 32 bit on the PC, as well as on here, 64 bit. Right, initial installation of the plugin. So you just go to the Applications folder, Adobe Illustrator CS6, Plugins, and place the plugin into the plugin path there. So just basically into that folder. So once that's been done, the plugin will be picked up by Illustrator. I'm just going to go over to Illustrator now. And the plugin can be found on w.toolboxplugins.com. Uh, there's also a demo on the site, so you can uh, try it out. Demo is fairly functionally limited. It uh, does create a few grids, but it also does adds quite a bit of randomness into the uh, design. It's completely time unlimited, so if you want to continue using the plugin, you can use it as much as you want. Right, now, the also the plugin, the actual full release comes with five plugins, whereas the other one just only comes with that single plugin tool. Right, the plugin actually appears in the toolbox. That's why it's called toolboxplugins.com. And there's a number of grids under the line segment tool. So you have to expand that out and you'll see there. And I'm going to show you the single one grid tool initially. So, uh, right. One thing it does need is a bit of a quick bit of setup. And that is the fill and the stroke. So I just go over to the fill and stroke. And I'm just going to set the fill to none. No, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to say that this is just an initial setup and probably the easiest way of using it. And then once you've done that, just go over to the tool, select that, and then just drag out from that start position. So basically where I clicked, the start position I clicked is the weather, this line here, that line there. Drag it out and it drags it out sort of out to that point there and you can see the to the vanishing point. So I'm just going to... Release now, release the mouse. And there's a little vanishing point there. It's a guideline, so you can uh, see where the uh, vanish point. And you can apply it again multiple times. So you can just there you, are, you can just quickly apply that. Just click onto the thing, change that, go over there, apply it again, and just do that rapidly. Now I'm just going to get rid of those. I don't want those for now. I want to show you some of the modifiers. Um, so you can actually modify the. Obviously, you can start at different positions. You can change the color, of course. You don't have to go with uh, black. And go for red and apply the design like that. So uh, that's a initial grid. Now, if you want to modify it, it's actually you have to do the drag again, but you have to hold the shift key down as well as do various other ones like command, command key, CMD, and all those sort of things. So there are, I'll just quickly show you some of the features there of that. So you can just, so yeah, it just modifies that. that down and you can modify the number of lines in the design so you can actually increase that up to as many as you want just by dragging it upwards also hold the sp space bar down so you can control that line you can see the line there just changing there so this there's, there's a number of options you can do and they they are slightly different in uh, from PC to Mac because of the different key settings so they're uh, there's different, obviously, the CMD, etc., control, and all that sort of stuff. So it is slightly different, but uh, the basic functionality. And there's documentation that will explain all the various settings. So once you've actually created the design, I'm just going to remove that. And I'll just change the colour. So you can change it to different colour. And just drag that out. And, right, so you've got that initial design. And then, of course, it's just a basic path. So uh, you can just select them as you would normally. Just drag them, move them to a different position. You can group them. Might be easier just to quickly group. And of course, you can apply various width profiles if you wish. So, uh, green, change that, or you can change the uh, color again. That sort of thing. Right. So once you've done that, actually, one plugin that's just come out that actually will work very well with this. Is combined with this uh, tool is a thing called 
the width scribe from astute software and it uh, comes with great features for manipulating uh, beautiful strokes so if you're, if you're looking for a, another great plugin that's also another one to uh, check out so you can i say once you've done this you can uh, manipulate obviously this and apply perspective as well you can use the uh, tools over here scale tool free transform to modify it even further if you wish right so that's a basic quick kettle there are also other options in this plugin to do perspective grids so I'll just quickly show you that as well. So I'll just set that to there. And I'll just quickly create a, a grid. And that can be modified like that. So different sort of grid options within this perspective grid plugin from www.toolboxplugins.com.